The Biden administration on Wednesday also blocked a Trump era rule that would have made it easier to classify gig workers who work for companies like Uber and Lyft as independent contractors instead of employees. Right now, gig workers are independent contractors who perform on demand services, including driving, delivering groceries or providing child care. Labor Secretary Marty Walsh said that he and his department are working to stop the erosion of worker protections that would have occurred had the rule gone into effect, in his own words. The rule by President Donald Trump's administration defined gig work by limiting the ability to earn a minimum wage and overtime compensation. It was supposed to take effect in March, but will be withdrawn after the Biden administration's Labor Department review. Secretary Walsh said they would have conversations in coming months with companies that employ gig labor to make sure workers have access to consistent wages, sick time, health care, and all of the things that an average employee in America can access. Spokespersons for both Uber and DoorDash commented on the positive aspects of gig worker protections, which offer more flexibility with limited or less protections. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce said it was disappointed in the administration's decision and hopes it does not pursue new regulations that would limit earning opportunities for independent workers. Go to FISM.TV news for more.